Daniel has been working for hours on the social media feed for the company. Then, Alice came into the office and asked Daniel and Julia whether they want to try the new bubble tea shop at the opposite street of the office. Daniel and Julia answered yes. After a while, Alice came back to the office with the bubble tea from Xing Fu Tang. After taking a sip of the sweet bubble tea, Daniel feels energized after working for hours. Julia commented that the bubble tea tastes exactly like the one she had in Taiwan. Michael came into the office and asked is that bubble tea from the Xing Fu Tang? Julia wonders how does Xing Fu Tang maintain the quality of their bubble tea internationally. Michael says it's because of the ERP process and proceed to share about what he knows about ERP process. Xing Fu Tang, known for making the best handcrafted brown sugar boba from Taiwan. Xing Fu Tang prides itself in delivering quality products to all guests by using only whole, natural ingredients, instead of artificial syrups and preservatives. All beverages and desserts at Xing Fu Tang are made to order using only high-quality ingredients imported from Taiwan, locally fresh produce, and organic milk. Materials management involves the planning, organization, and control of the flow of materials from suppliers to the final customers. For example, the ingredients inside a bubble tea are milk sugar black tea and bubble. So how does materials management work for Xing Fu Tang? It begins with the procurement process which involves sourcing materials from supplier negotiating contracts and placing orders when Xing Fu Tang wants to buy the raw materials for bubble tea they use purchase requisition to procure the materials for bubble tea such as tapioca pearls milk and tea leaves besides that. They can also use internal sourcing source list or RFQ. All beverages and desserts at Xing Fu Tang are made to order using only high quality ingredients imported from Taiwan locally fresh produce and organic milk so they sign on a long term contract with the vendors to ensure the quality and stable supply of the materials they also have a vendor for their diamond cut plastic cup. When they need new materials the purchase department will issue RFQ to vendors and Sarah will explain the RFQ process. RFQ acts like an invitation to potential vendors for quotation. After that we evaluate their quotations based on a set of criteria and the one with highest score will be selected, then proceed to purchase order. Once the purchase order has been created we will notify the vendor subsequently, the vendor will arrange the shipment to Xing Fu Tang. When they receive the goods they will check goods receipt based on the materials, order quantity and price and invoice receipt has the order details price and payment due. If there is nothing wrong, they will proceed to make the payment to the vendor for the goods purchased. In this case, Xing Fu Tang can choose to do full payment or partial payment to the vendors. Once Xing Fu Tang made the payment, the purchasing of bubble tea ingredients ends here. However, it doesn't end here. Next is the production planning. Production planning for Xing Fu Tang involves creating a detailed plan for the production of bubble tea, including the ingredients required, the quantity to be produced, and the production schedule. In production planning, these are the few processes, forecasting, sales and operating planning, demand management, material production scheduling, and material requirement planning. In order to produce a bubble teas, bills of materials are required. For example, Xing Fu Tang needs to know the materials quantity unit of measurement work center location and resources for making bubble tea. As for the forecasting, the product planner or manager is responsible for ensuring the stock and capacity are under control and generate sales plan production plan and capacity plan based on sales demand. The process of forecasting starts from analyzing the historical data followed by forecasting resources needed, and lastly monitor production schedule and resource management. As for the demand management Xing Fu Tang will determine the demand based on forecasting data or sales and operating planning. Furthermore, master production scheduling helps Xing Fu Tang to identify what, when and how many raw materials are required for producing tapioca pearls. Meanwhile master requirement planning helps to calculate the net requirements to ensure the material stock is not understocked. During the production of tapioca pearls, the workers are required to monitor the production to ensure the production is carried out according to MPS and quality standards. For example, using starch for making the dough, cut into thinner and smaller size, then make sure to roll into ball shape and, they are ready to distribute to the stores.
Once their tapioca pearls are produced, they will be packaged and scheduled to be sent to their chain stores for making their drinks. Then, material document, accounting document, and controlling document is generated. Besides that, when the production order is completed, they will check the order is correct. In terms of quantity and quality. Once everything is completed, the good receipts will be delivered to the Xing Fu Tang chain stores. Lastly, order settlement will be processed and the manager will calculate the target cost and actual cost to determine whether the production is a profit or a loss. When the target cost is more than the actual cost then the production is considered as a loss, so they can reduce it by sourcing cheaper price for the materials. Wow, the production of boba pearls needs to go through so many processes. So that's why the quality is able to maintain. Well, I have explained a lot, so why don't you share what you know about the sales and distribution Daniel? Xing Fu Tang's business is about selling bubble teas and one of their main sources sales revenue is operating internationally with licensed. Furthermore, they are also doing collaboration with other brands such as Peanuts, they have made Peanuts theme of bubble tea. Besides, their drinks can be ordered online through services such Grab Food and Food Panda. Next is the inventory management Xing Fu Tang forecast the demand by analyzing historical data and monitor the stock's availability regularly, they also make sure the temperature is suitable for preserving their tapioca pearls and other ingredients lastly they are strict on the quality control of the tapioca pearls. When customers walk in for purchasing Xing Fu Tang drinks, they can choose the various type of drinks shown in the menu, the staff will give recommendation if they could not decide. After they have chosen and placed their order, the system will automatically generate an inquiry to the ordering system. Then quotation will be generated. Once the customer confirms the order details, the process will proceed to payment phase. After receiving payment from customer, a bill or receipt will be issued to the customer. Once the payment has been made, the staff will be notified by the new order placed, then they will check on the availability and issue the sales order, after that they will prepare the drinks based on the order placed. Then the customer can enjoy their sweet Xing Fu Tang's bubble tea and this is also the end of the sales and distribution. So, that sums the ERP process of Xing Fu Tang. Wow, thank you Daniel. Yep, yeah, hope you all learned something new from this. And enjoy the rest of your day with your boba tea. There is a saying. A boba a day. Keeps reality away. And thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe.